Hey guys, welcome back. You're still tuned into Midcap Radar here on CNBC TV 18. Let's talk about another company which posted earnings, Gujarat Chlorochems. It was quite a weak showing this time around. The revenue is down around 30%. Margin has also contracted. So currently it's come in at 21%. We're joined by the management. Mr. Beer Kapoor, CEO and Deputy MD at Gujarat Chlorochemicals joins us now. Uh, Mr. Kapoor, thanks a lot for joining us and taking the time today. You know, I'm going to come to your numbers in just a bit, but we were going through your presentation and we do notice that you have mentioned details about your EV subsidiary, GFCL EV. So could you take us through some details on that? What is the kind of growth that you expect and the opportunity in that space for you? Sure, good afternoon. Um, uh, we, are, we just announced today, we are very excited to announce the commencement of our battery chemical complex at uh, commercial scale. Uh, this includes the electrolyte salt, which is LIPS6, along with LIF, AHF, and electrolyte facilities, which is an integrated facility at our uh, Jolva site in, in the H. And uh, we are very excited because this is our first foray into a battery chemical space. And uh, we are also announced uh, our future plans in this space, and we are planning to invest close to 6,000 crores in the next four to five years to capture growth in this very large uh, global mm -hmm. opportunity, uh, which is uh, present particularly in the area of uh, EV and ESS. So truly, this is a momentous occasion for us as we embark on a massive growth journey for GFL. It's a new level for us, new horizons for us. Absolutely right. You know, markets were very keenly anticipating and expecting more details from you. So, you know, that's come around this time around. Uh, before, you know, we quiz you a little bit further on the EV business itself, uh, let's talk and, you know, address, you know, the chemical business. Chemical business across the industry has been a bit muted, especially yes. as far as Q3 is concerned. Uh, so, how are pricing trends now? Do you feel that pricing has now reached more of, are we more towards the bottom end of the cycle? And would you be able to meet the guidance that you've given for, especially for the uh, chemical business? Yeah, sure. I mean, for our existing businesses, we already talked about it uh, in the last quarter, and we said it has bottomed out, and we were able, we are uh, expecting turnaround, which we are already seeing, traction on the ground. And uh, we expect uh, in next few quarters and uh, next year to be coming back to in line with our normal earnings and, and margin expectations. So okay, but current, of course, it's the entire sector, you know, in chemical sector is depressed because of a number of reasons, uh, partly mm -hmm. uh, related to destocking, which is happening across the globe. And of course, uh, pressure from uh, uh, low cost Chinese imports uh, in certain sectors. So okay. Oh, absolutely. Here. And we have been talking to chemical players across the board. And of course, this is the same uh, same view that we're getting from everyone. But if we can just go back to the EV subsidiary, like you mentioned, it's the hot space. And, you know, we're interested to get some more details. You mentioned the investments that you'll be making. What is the kind of, you know, revenue that you expect from this? Uh, give me a slightly longer, you know, view on this. I'm not asking you for next year. And also, uh, you know, when will this start showing onto your books? We're just uh, trying to get a sense of the timeline. Yeah. See, we have just started uh, production at commercial scale, uh, as I mm. said. Uh, so this, uh, it's an initial investment we have made is 650 crore so far, and it's going to be <clears throat> close to 800 crore by the end of this financial year. And uh, it will go through a process of uh, validation, which is a typical process in the battery space. We expect to see the revenue stream coming uh, by the second half of next financial year, uh, trickling down. The long-term growth plan is very exciting because the battery uh, chemical space or the battery itself uh, is, uh, you know, globally will see a, a growth rate of close to, you know, 25 to 30 uh, percent CAGR. Uh, <clears throat> and that's a very big uh, space uh, for us. And we are very well positioned to capture that. Um, we are... Uh, you know, we have a demonstrated uh, expertise to bring complex products to market. And uh, this is a complex performance product. So we are very well positioned to do that. And we are already present uh, uh, in fluoropolymers, which is uh, uh, which caters to uh, some of the performance uh, sectors. Uh, just one more uh, quick question, uh, Mr. Kapoor. Um, 
A, are you looking at any kind of tie-up for this EV subsidiary of yours? That's something that we want to know. And would you look to demerge the business anytime in the future? Uh, uh, certainly, it's a hundred percent subsidiary as of now. We are not uh, looking for any tie-up as of now. Uh, okay. And uh, but uh, more or less, it's uh, uh, one question that I missed. You asked earlier about the the revenue part. Uh, on the long term, we are looking at a asset turnover of. Uh, almost two or two plus, uh, which in my opinion is a conservative number. So we are looking at uh, 6,000 crore investment. So it's going to be uh, 12,000 crore plus revenue, uh, which is uh, probably six to seven years from now. Thank you so much. You know, very strong commentary coming in. You know, markets will really like the kind of uh, business sense that you've given as far as the EV battery business itself is concerned. But, you know, that's all we have time now on this edition of Midcap Radar. Uh, Visual Fund Corner up next.